Hi everyone, welcome to Steam Adventures here at the Anaheim Public Library. My name is Lei Wan, and today we're gonna have fun with the wind. Today's kit is gonna be fun with the wind, and it's gonna consist of these instructions. Instructions on how to build an airplane, some yarn, a popsicle stick, and some paper, and most importantly, the bag. All you have to do to get this awesome kit is call your local Anaheim Public Library and you can get one for yourself. Now you're probably wondering, what makes airplanes fly? They rely on four key things. They rely on aerodynamics, they rely on drag and gravity, they rely on lift and thrust. Now let's go over those, all four of those terms. Aerodynamics is trying to cut down resistance towards the air. So what I want you to do at home is stick out your hand just like this. Now move it up and down, flapping like a bird. Do you feel the resistance of the air? I do. Now, I don't want that resistance. I want it to almost glide at, at, like an airplane in the sky. So turn your hand like this and make some chopping sounds. Chop, chop, chop. You felt a little bit of air resistance, but almost none at all. That is aerodynamics. When we build airplanes, we want to make sure that the air is flowing, not fighting against the airplane. Thrust is the, is the power behind the airplane. Normally in an, in an airplane, there's a propeller, there's a jet, air, there's a jet, there's a rocket, there's all, all sorts of different kinds of power behind the airplane. With a paper airplane, all the power lies within your wrist. Gravity will play a role too. With other airplanes, they use their propellers and their rockets to push them against gravity. In this case, because there's no power behind it after it leaves my hand, gravity will slowly push the plane down. Now comes drag and lift. Drag is actually the air, again from aerodynamics, pushing the airplane one way or another, up or down. You want to have as little drag as possible, but you want to have as much lift as possible. Lift is when the air is actually pushing up on the wings. That helps keep the airplane up in the air longer. Now that we've talked about why airplanes fly, let's make our own. Our first airplane is going to be one I've been making since I was a little kid. We're going to call it the Lei Wan Special. First what you do is you take a piece of paper and you fold it long ways like a hot dog. Make sure that the corners line up and then you're just going to smooth it down the middle just like that. Alright. You're going to unfold it and then you're going to take the top edges on both sides and you're going to make triangles just like that and then you're gonna do the same thing two triangles make sure that they line up smooth it out the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna flip it over just like that you're gonna try to make sure that they line up this one's a little uneven but that's okay and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab one edge, you're gonna fold it all the way down until you reach the very bottom, line it up, and do the same thing again. Fold it, do it again. And there you have it. You have yourself a Lei Wan Special Airplane right here. Now let's test it out. All right, now that we have our finished product, let's see how it flies. All right, you ready? It's coming straight at you. It didn't fly that far, but I think we can go even farther with our next airplane. Now we're going to build the traditional airplane that you see in all the movies. Now, we have instructions here that I will be using and are included in your kit to build this airplane. First thing you're going to do, fold it in half, like so. Make sure everything lines up. And just smooth it down. Make sure it's nice and fold it, unfold it, and then what you're going to do is you're going to form, fold in half, and make two triangles. Fold it again, just like so, make sure that they line up, awesome. All right, now here comes a little tricky part. You're going to fold it again, but this time like this. So that way, you're going to fold that triangle in half and have two triangles. Alright, 
Now let's do it again on the other side. Awesome. All right, now let's try the next part. Flip it over, fold it in half like so. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to fold this, the wing, down. But you're gonna not fold it all the way. You're gonna leave just a tiny bit of space right there. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Make sure you leave a little bit of space. Just like so. And there you have it. You have yourself a tried and true airplane design. All right, now that we got our speedster here, let's see how this guy flies. Wow, he flew way farther than the first one. That's because this airplane has been designed to use all four key elements, lift, gravity, drag, and thrust. It's, it's the, almost the perfect airplane, but I bet you can do what you want even better than me. Now that we've made our paper airplane, you're probably wondering, what's the string and pulse it stick for? That's because these are gonna be key materials that you're gonna use to make your very own parachute. Now, parachutes work because, because they're technically fighting against gravity. Gravity pushes everything down to the earth, so it's going down. Parachutes capture the air and form a form of air resistance against gravity. It won't necessarily cancel out gravity, but it'll slow you down so that way when you land, you won't go splat. All right, now the first thing you're gonna do with your parent's supervision or with your parent's help is you're gonna poke two holes using a pen or pencil right here and right over here. So here and here. Now this is gonna be key because you're gonna poke, you're gonna poke the holes and then you're gonna run the yarn through it. So let's do that. All right, I'm gonna just very carefully. There you go. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. Very carefully. There we go. Now comes the hard part. You're gonna run through that. Awesome. First try. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. Just like that. Now, what you can do also is if you feel like you can air out the bag a few times, so it's a little easier. And then what you can do is you can actually form a knot on the very top, a basic knot, just like you're tying your shoes. Just like that. Make sure that they're on the very top. Awesome, just like that. Make sure that the bag is open. Now, this popsicle stick is gonna serve as your parachute guy. <laughs> you're gonna wrap the string on both ends around him. So you wanna maybe wrap it around once or twice. Tie another knot. This one's gonna be a little tighter because you don't want him to fall off. Okay, that's one end. Let's do the other. Knots are a tricky thing. There we go. Now we got ourselves a little parachute. Now let's see how he flies. All right, I'm gonna to toss him into the air and we're gonna see how, how the parachute slows down his ascent. One, two, three. Now that might not seem like a lot, but compared to what, when things normally fall, his descent was actually slowed down to a more safer descent. That pen went splat, it's gone. But with a parachute, you can gently land and be safe. There's actually two ways to make that parachute. That was one way, but if you'd like, you can grab a pair of scissors with the parent's permission, cut the bag in half, like so. This one got a little torn up. And you can poke holes here, 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 and here. You would have to cut the string into four pieces, but you can make a parachute that way too. Some parachutes are just like that. They have a dome and they ca catch her that way, or they're separate and they have, four, they have string or rope around in four corners that they use to slow down. Uh, parachuters. You're more than welcome to try out both 
and we highly recommend you do and share them with the Anaheim Public Library Facebook page using the hashtag Anaheim Steam or Anaheim Libraries. I hope you guys had as much fun doing these activities as, as I did. And if you're excited to do more activities just like this one, you don't have to wait any longer. We have rolled out the Steam on the Go kits. These kits contain fun kits that, have, that cover all bases of Steam and allow you to earn cool prizes like this badge and other cool prizes like it. Check them out at your local Anaheim Public Library and have yourself a wonderful day. Bye-bye.